All right, this video is dealing with how many electrons are in one coulomb. So how would we figure out that simple fact? Well, we know that charge is quantized, and I know that the charge of one electron uh, is, is the lowercase letter e here, and it's going to be 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs, okay? And it's negative. If it's an electron, it's negative, and if it's a, you know, if it's a uh, proton, it's positive, so it's just negative here but we'll use the absolute value. And so the way that we use this is we use a simple formula that's often underutilized. It basically is this. The charge on an object equals uh, NE. And N is the number of electrons, and E is the charge on one electron. That's the total charge. So if I want to find out how many electrons are in one coulomb, uh, what I'm looking for is N. Just Q equals NE. I'm looking for the number of electrons. So if I took that and I just divided it out, I would get uh, simply that N is going to equal Q over E, right? It's, it's really as simple as that. And when I do that, I know I'm going to have 1 coulomb divided by 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19. And when I do that calculation, I'm going to get 6.25 times 10 to the 18. So uh, 10, to the, 10 to the 9 is a billion, right? So I have 6.25 billion billion, right? So that's a lot, right? Um, so that's how you would calculate that. So you use this simple formula here, Q equals any. It's very underutilized. Use it all the time if you need to find charges and charges that are transferred onto other charges and you want to know the number of electrons or the number of protons, this is how you do it.